Would you guys ever want to bring in Jaden Smith and Jackie Chan into the show? And I'm sort of curious if, if they could fit and how they might interact with, with Danny and Johnny. That's a, it's a great question. Well, we're going, we don't need roads. Uh, gentlemen, this is the honor of a freaking lifetime. Seriously, I never thought I'd be able to do this interview. So I truly, truly appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Awesome, man. You got it, man. Uh, I'm going to jump into this. You know, there are so many moments in this show where Danny pauses and wishes that he could get advice from Mr. Miyagi. And, and honestly, like every fan of the Karate Kid, I really miss the great Pat Morita so much. So I'm curious for both of you, what is a, a piece of advice or a question about Cobra Kai that you wish you could ask him to maybe get his guidance on about this show? Uh, maybe how many more seasons are we going to have? No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, I think, uh, oh, wow, that's an interesting question. Um, Man, I know we both wish he was here. I mean, first of all, we miss him so much. I mean, he was such a big part of our lives, but uh, man, he, he would just chew this up. I wish he was here in the show. Um, but I feel like he's watching us. I feel like he's, I think he's like, I think he's nodding. I think he's got that little end of the Karate Kid thing going on i feel him you know and, and he's integrated in the show mm -hmm. i don't know what i'd what i'd ask him except i know he'd be laughing a lot you know and yeah for yeah. sure and and probably because he was a comic at heart or at least in the early part of his career so what was so beautiful about his his performance is miyagi is the ability to have that heart soul and those emotions but be able to turn on he just knew where the comedic beats were mm -hmm. and everything and made him so human. And I guess that would be something I would ask him as adult Daniel Russo, who's often written so on edge and so hyped up from the conflict that's happening in the, in the valley and the, the, the heightened level of the importance. I would probably ask him to uh, help me mine some of the humor in there uh, within all that, uh, all that superhero drama that Cobra Kai touches upon. Uh, you're absolutely right about his comedic timing. He's an absolute genius. Um, you know, I, I'm really curious about how these two roles uh, affect people's perceptions of who you are when you're out in public, whether it was after the original films or now sort of in the midst of Cobra Kai pandemonium. When you're out in public, th th did anyone ever start trying to, to pick a fight because of their inability to sort of separate you from the characters? I think Ralph dealt with that a little bit. Yeah, right, constantly, every day. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. I mean, I, I, Ralph, you go ahead and answer that. Well, listen, back in the in the day and, the in, you know, with the Karate Kid in the last, up until Cobra Kai, for the most part, I mean, a lot of people ask me, can, can anyone pick, try to pick a fight with you? I just think they, they sympathized for the 98-pound weakling that I was and knew that I only had one and a half kicks in my arsenal. Um, so I had a lot of, a lot of love and support for that protagonist you rooted for and the kid next door that was in everybody and then but it, it, it in the early seasons of Cobra Kai as the 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 shift in um in perspective changed you know I got a little more like hey why are you acting like such a jerk you know and and so it was part of so I got to, to taste both sides of it but no one ever dropped the gloves and uh and wanted to go uh uh, down. I love, we'll see what happens later today. But That's, <laughs> <laughs> that, that gives me hope with society. Um, you know, one of the great things about this show is for fans of the films, you guys keep bringing back so many of the original characters. And it's amazing to sort of see what they're doing now. But I'm going to sort of stretch that a little bit. Would you guys ever want to bring in Jaden Smith and Jackie Chan into the show? And I'm sort of curious if, if they could fit and how they might interact with, with Danny and Johnny. Well, I don't think, I mean, here's the thing with, uh, that's a, it's a great question and there's a simple answer to why that won't work in the Cobra Kai universe because uh, the guys that uh, John, Josh and Hayden talk about the Miyagi verse. Mm -hmm. Anyone who knew Mr. Miyagi and interacted, interacted with Mr. Miyagi has, is canon for our show, for the Cobra Kai show. Whereas in the characters of Jane Smith and, and Jackie Chan, they were not in that world. It was a, a remake. Um, so those, uh, I'm aware, at, but uh, to the flip side of that, someone like Julie Pierce, who is Hilary Swank's role, did know Miyagi. So there's always a chance for maybe that. So that's, that's the technical uh, uh, response to that question.
Fair enough. Fair enough. Gentlemen, I got to tell you, seriously, this show is absolutely phenomenal. And, uh, and I, I don't know how much longer we can keep you guys, but please, I would be down for season 10 or 15 or oh, 20. Man. So, oh, so tr- I, I truly, I love you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you for being such a big part of my life. Um, and, and I really do appreciate your time. Thank you, man. Thanks yeah, so nice much. Nice to see you, man. All right. Nice to see you. Take care. Right. Going, we don't need roads.